So my uh, last uh, and uh, third film dedicated to relationship between philosophy and media is um, thought also as a direct invitation to, to you to ask me questions and uh, that we will follow uh, our discussion in class. Uh, how um, you uh, perceived media and its impact on uh, on your own uh, perception of the reality. So we can uh, entitle this short reflection as how um, our world is shaped uh, by uh, by media. Uh, but also since uh, you and me and all of us we are active participants in the of this uh, media world, uh, we can um, also ask uh, an important question, how um, we influence media. So it's not only that we are passive uh, uh, consumers, uh, passive participants in this uh, uh, surrounding us world of, of different media, but uh, by the way, how we um, use it, uh, the extent uh, of amount of our um, time which we dedicate to, to, to media is also um, a, a response to how far, how deep media are entering in our world, but at the same time how we are influencing them. And I will uh, use uh, reflections uh, which I found uh, in uh, McLuhan texts and also in Walter Ong texts, uh, but I will translate it, so to say, in my own uh, language because I found it very uh, inspiring, but we cannot, uh, uh, as a students, we cannot only repeat what we read, but we have to translate it into our own concepts into our own notions. Uh, so perhaps uh, it will also facilitate your own way of reflecting on how media influenced you. Uh, so the brief uh, auto uh, reflection on the role of media in my life, I would say that uh, in the first years uh, in my childhood uh, in the school, the only way of being a consumer or, or being user of media was reading texts. I was, no, it was in the 60s, 70s. Uh, it was before social media, of course, before internet. So we, we couldn't dream even that uh, we can actively influence media, that we can have a choice between one or three or, or hundred of TV channels, of many radio stations, of YouTube channels, etc. So it, it's very important to realize that in 2020, we are living in completely different world. This world is a, a world of choices, that you wake up and you decide which uh, channel you will listen to. Uh, you are not waiting for letters, but you are just using email or, or uh, WhatsApp or Skype, etc. So exchange of ideas is, is rapid, it's very quick. Uh, it's, it's not uh, uh, a patient waiting, reflecting, analyzing, responding after one week. No, we are in a very... Uh, hustle word and this influence also our way of perception this is very important and do you remember this the distinction uh, made by McLuhan uh, cool uh, and hot medium I will repeat uh, again a, a short de definition and we'll try to, to translate it in a more understandable uh, concepts so cool medium, which incorporates increased involvement, but decreased description. Uh, incorporates increased involvement. It means that you are fully present, for example, watching film, right? You don't have too much time to use your ima imagination. You are all 
taken by what the, the film director, actors, uh, music, uh, create a world in, you, in which you are fully immersed. So, uh, or oh, the world which I'm not so familiar with, but probably many of you are um, computer games. This is a very interesting word, and uh, McLuhan, of course, was not aware of it, but you can contribute to it in your questions. How far, for example, the fact that you are uh, actively uh, influencing uh, what is going on on your computer screen, it, it influences your way of thinking. I remember once uh, in my seminar, MA seminar, a student worked a, a, a MA work on uh, religion in computer games. It, when, when he came to me with this idea, I, I thought this is a very crazy idea. But after I discovered that this is not only ex exciting uh, field of research, but you have already a library of books which are analyzing this new mythology, the, the mythology created by um, science fiction, by uh, author of these computer games, etc. So it's something very new, but it's a, really an alternative to the traditional world which we were used to live in, uh, not centuries, but just 10, 20, 30 years ago. This is very, very interesting word, right? How active you are performing and you are influencing by simply by the, the gesture to buy something or by dedicating your time to, to, to sit in front of your computer or looking to your smartphone, etc. This is the also a, a, a good illustration of how media are shaping our perception of realities means, in other words, our philosophy, because it's, it's a dynamic reality, right? And the um, hot medium, again, this technical uh, definition, which decrease involvement and increase description, decrease involvement, that you are less involved, but it means that you have more time to describe what is going on with you. And I think still a novel, poetry, is, is, is an example of, of uh, hot medium, right? That you, are, you have time, you can take a book, you can read it, you can stop whenever you want. You are not immersed uh, completely. And you are also creatively uh, participating in, in, in the process of reading. Uh, this is um, a very interesting theory. If some of you are interested, you can, you can go and read a, a, a book written in, in, uh, many years ago, in 30s, by uh, Polish philosopher Roman Ingarden, Das Literarische Werk. He, he wrote this in German, but it's already translated and available in many languages, also in, in uh, I, I'm sure, in, in English, uh, the, the, the literary work. Um, and and uh, Roman Ingarden, as the phenomenologist, he was the student of uh, Edmund Husserl, he was reflecting uh, on um, literature, uh, fiction, as um, a way in which we are shaping our mind, our philosophy also. And he discovered, I'm, I'm not going into details how he developed this, but what is important for Ingarden that we are fulfilling gaps which are uh, in, in, included in the process of reading. And I think this is a fascinating process that you are actively uh, creating your own book. So how many readers, so many books. We, this is why it's so important to discuss uh, our uh, 
books, our poetry, how we uh, and why we are choosing this author and another was why Ruzevich is so important for me or, or Miłosz or, or I don't know, Elizabeth Bischoff. They are different uh, possibilities, but what is important that we can, and because we are rediscovering an age of dialogue. You remember Walter Ong? writing his PhD and saying that this is a decay, is, is, is a, a moment when in the 16th, 17th century, the people stopped to listen to one another, but were like uh, fighting against one another. And this is the end of dialogue, right? That you are only uh, willing to impose on others your idea. You, you, you are fighting those who are not sharing your ideas. And I think this is the false understanding of, of the words, because the, the real understanding the word, the listener of the word, is someone who is curious, who is willing to, to, to take from other a new understanding. And this is the process of mutual enrichment. That this is how you leave your own world, your own egoistic perception of the reality, and you are open toward others, toward other cultures. And this is, uh, I think, in an in extremely uh, creative moment in our uh, human development, in our human civilization, in our human uh, I would say development, evolution, that we are uh, returning to this pre-literary moment in our history. So uh, in, the, in the moment when, when humanity discovered uh, writing, uh, we were focused on, on understanding of our respective uh, script uh, holy texts. So we are reading uh, New Testament, Jews are reading Hebrew Bible, the Muslims are reading uh, Quran, Upanishad are for uh, Buddhist, et cetera, for Hindu, etc., etc. But today it's not so important which kind of text are reading because everyone is a, a walking library. And we can, in the moment when we meet someone, we, we are not uh, making exams from what you read, but who you are in this moment, in this very moment of exchange of ideas. And I think that the new media, the uh, so-called second orality, when we are perceiving ourselves as, as we are, without uh, labeling one another with uh, believer, non-believer, atheist, taste, this is not relevant. Just that each person, each face is the icon through which we are discovering a new world. And I think the media is the very creative moment when we are again uh, like, like, well, I, I will not use perhaps this word, like God, like gods, but in a way we are creating a new world. It's up to us. So let us take our destiny in our hands, hands uh, and let us use our creative perception of the reality in which we are immersed in order to uh, create a really human community as we are, because as uh, we discover, we have more in common than uh, what divide us. And through mutual communication, using all different uh, instruments and skills to communicate, we are building bridges and not constructing walls. So let us do this with enthusiasm, with a growing uh, interest for other cultures, because only this, in this way we, we can connect philosophy with uh, new technologies, with social media, etc., etc. So let us have a nice exchange of ideas in class.